decided to just find a park up for the night. It's only about three o'clock, but it's raining. We're not feeling great, but this is a spot and a half with a view. So we are just above a place called the Rest and Be Thankful Stop, I believe. It's a really famous um, stop where you've got some really amazing views of the mountains around us. So we're also in a place called, and I had to look up the pronunciation of this, of course, I hope I'm saying it right. So we're in a place called the Araka Alps, um, and there's a village down the road called Araka, or Araka, and it caught my eye because obviously the word Alps, and it's like, what, Alps, Alps in the UK? What's that about? You know, you associate that with the Alps in Europe, and there's Alps elsewhere. Um, I did not know there was any mountains here called Alps, something Alps. Um, so that gives it a kind of almost exotic feel. Uh, continental feel if you like um, but just driving through and just from what I've seen you can understand why they're called Alps I don't actually know the full reason I'll look that up in a bit yeah very very striking and it does look like something straight out of Switzerland or somewhere but it's raining but I'm gonna give you a quick look I don't know what we're gonna do tomorrow at this point we're kind of making this up as we go so you know this is gonna be one of those whatever happens in the video happens um, but I will give you a quick look of where we are because we are parked somewhere very 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 pretty and just down the road is that famous viewpoint as I said to you where you've got some spectacular views of the mountains so let's go and have a look So that was the rest and be thankful stop. There's even a bus stop there, so <laughs> I don't know where it goes to. I'm sure I saw something about a castle on one of the buses that went past. So that'd be interesting, not sure what that is. And yeah, it's raining. I can't even imagine what this must look like in the sunshine. There's actually something quite magical about what it looks like with all the clouds at the top of the mountains as the drizzle comes down. It feels suitably Scottish somehow, <laughs> rather than bright sunshine. Yeah, this is incredible. I want to go hiking, but I'm not going to do it. It's too wet and I'm not into self-torture, quite frankly. I just want to smile from ear to ear when I see things like this. You just forget all about the rain, sort of. Okay, so I've just seen on one of those passing place signs, you know, the little signs they have for cars to move out of the way. Um, oh my God, there's a sign saying Barry from EastEnders died here, January 2004. Um, I remember that well. And I don't know if it was filmed here, but I'm guessing it might have been because I seem to remember they went to Scotland for that. Um, so maybe this was the bit behind me because that's where it was, just on the passing place behind me there. Just a tiny, tiny sticker referencing it. And actually, I remember it wasn't even like a cliff face. It looked like a just a kind of hill, really. And this looks like it might be it. So maybe he just fell down this hill. Is that even possible? <laughs> it is in EastEnders. And I don't know if you can see, we're parked just over there. You can just see a bit of our van. With full signal as well, which is pretty amazing. Just want to go hiking, Steve? Do I look like I want to go hiking? Well, you never look like you want to go hiking. That's your answer. <laughs> So I've just woken up, <clears throat> my cold is even worse, and you can really hear it now. Oh, and it's so frustrating because today is sunny, the sun is out, you can feel the warmth of it, and you can see the blue sky. There are still clouds and I think there might be a bit of rain later, but generally it looks like a good day, so I don't know what I'm going to do. It's very annoying because I feel worse, but... 
I feel like dosing up on painkillers and just doing it <laughs> just because it's a dry day but I refuse to be beaten by this when we've got one day like this probably well I don't know we'll see how we go let's wake up first oh it's so annoying Ugh. So for breakfast today, I've made myself one of my porridge specials. Um, Stephen won't touch it with a barge pole, and I'm not sure many people would. Um, I know it looks disgusting, but I love it. And we try to eat porridge quite regularly, especially at the moment. But sometimes, quite often, I don't like it when it's sweet, and I'm more of a savoury person. Um, so what I actually like doing is instead of putting the usual stuff in there, I like putting some vegetables, and it can be anything. This time I had tomatoes, some spinach, a tiny bit of spring onion. Um, I usually put some salt and pepper in there, and maybe occasionally a bit of mustard or something like that. I might put some curry powder in. And it can be anything, any vegetables, courgette, whatever's in the fridge or cupboard, usually. Um, and then just mix it up and heat it like normal porridge. So yeah, not everyone's cup of tea, but I re I'd recommend trying it. And it's a, at the moment, I'm not sure it's going to do me any good or not as a cold. You know, I'm sure there's better things to have. I've just had an orange prior to this. Um, or, you know, drugs, <laughs> paracetamol and ibuprofen. That'll be coming next. Um, but it's a bit of a broth, you know, got some vitamins in there. So it might do me some good and give me a bit of energy for the day. Because it's looking so nice. I think we are determined to stay here another night and get out and have a little bit of a walk. Not sure if we're going to go fully to the top, um, but we'll see how we go. So yeah, I'm going to enjoy my disgusting porridge now. Ah! Mm, yum. But I mean it. <laughs> I really do. I like it. Would you eat this, Stephen? I've had savoury porridge before. It's not my favourite thing. I think when you Google things like this, I'm sure there are a lot of things out there and recipes and stuff. Um, but it seems to be one of those weird... <laughs> You can't do that sort of thing, like eating vegetables for breakfast, like that seems as odd. Yet, a bit like if you ate chicken for breakfast, people think it's odd. Yet it's quite normal and nobody bats an eyelid if somebody eats pig. What? You know what I mean? It just, it's, it's for some reason, we're used to our cultures, I suppose. Um, and so anything different, and you kind of think, what, that's a bit strange. But also, equally, I appreciate that a lot of people will find this actually disgusting. <laughs> so, it's all... Horses for courses, um, but every now and again, I really enjoy it. And what a view. Waking up to that. Coming for a walk, Steve. Oh. All right, while well, Steve stays here and itches his bites, scratches his bites, <laughs> I'm gonna brave a bit of a walk but I'm not sure how far yet. All right, see you later, Stevie. Wish me luck. Good luck. Hopefully I've got a signal and I don't ring you in distress. Wait, hopefully the signal is irrelevant and I just don't need to worry about it. Yeah, so is your phone charged? Yeah, it's got enough. All right, All right then. see you in a bit. So Stephen was saying earlier he might get the solar panel out to charge our leisure battery. So as we said before, our lith uh, sorry not our lithium, our um, Bluetti power pack has stopped working. So, but the solar panel itself is fine. So we could use it to charge our leisure battery, um, and we have done before. So that'll be another way for us to be able to stay another night. Um, it's not quite the same as having the power pack, so we can use the laptops, but it's better than nothing, and it means we can keep using the basic appliances. The walk from where we are, there is a peak here called Ben Donick, I believe. I think it's 847 metres tall, so it's not quite a Munro. I think it's the next one down, which is a Corbett, Corbett. Um, but still high enough, quite frankly. Um, and I'm not sure I'm going to get up to the top, but that's the plan. Ben Donick, it's meant to take about four hours, so two there, two back, give or take. Um, so not too bad, but... I don't know, you know, I'm not sure I'm going to be up for that. So even if I get halfway, I think I'll be satisfied with that. A two hour walk is probably just about my limit today. So we'll see how far that takes us. So the plan 
is to head somewhere up there. I don't think it's going to happen, based on how I'm feeling. But if I do get to the end goal, I think it's somewhere up there. To be honest, I bet that's a false peak and it goes higher. <laughs> but I think it's that general direction. All right, let's go. I'm mere minutes in and I know instantly that Stephen would have hated this so he probably made the right choice it's very steep very quickly although I don't know what pans, pans out after this but it's also very muddy and wet so he pipes in that car park so I've come quite high already but I suspect that is just the beginning you know even if I turn back now I think I'll be happy with that it's probably not showing on my face. You can probably just see the cold and illness, but <laughs> honestly, I am bowled over by that. Even if my body isn't. asked a man if that's the top um no it's not <laughs> he said i've got quite a way to go yet uh and he said there's a rocky section but he didn't say it was too bad um i'm not sure how far i'm gonna go really it seems like you get good enough views from where we are but i'll get to the top of this and then see how much further there actually is um i'm not feeling too bad my nose is running the sun's out which is great I'm not going to say it's doing me the world of good, but it feels good up here a little bit. Okay, so that first peak obviously wasn't the summit. The second one definitely wasn't the summit. It appears that's the summit. I ain't sure about that. What I love about getting up to these heights is you can see the peaks of all the other nearby mountains. I don't know what they are, but you can see them jutting up in the distance. And there's that one. See, that's the one directly in front of the rest and be thankful stop that goes straight up from the road. But right behind it, is that one, which is much higher. So I don't know if they, they count as two separate peaks or if the one behind it is the true peak. And then you've got that one. Maybe that's the cobbler. I'm not 100% sure that was what I was gonna climb, but it didn't pan out. But it just looks like a wilderness in every direction. And it's not really. It's not too far till the nearest town or village, but from this height, all you can see is mountains and greenery and it's and a few locks and it's absolutely stunning. Okay, I'm not sure what happens here. That looks a bit precarious. I'm actually gonna use this opportunity to climb down to actually have a rest for a while. This is the first time I've sat down since I left. 
it's not too hard it's constantly up um, and it is a bit slippy and muddy in places but we have done worse uh, but this bit's a bit of a, a change up you come to a very scrambly bit at the top um, and then of course you have to climb down the bit I'm sitting on now as you can see it's right above me in order to go up again and hopefully that's about the peak but I've said that about five times now Oh my god, we did it. With a bad cold and all. That's the top of Ben Dolik. I think that's what I'm up. And there's your views. Absolutely wonderful. To be honest, there's amazing views all the way up. You don't have to come all the way up here to see this. Um, this just gives you a good 360. But oh my God, absolutely out of this world. <laughs> What a place. Okay, I know I've got a rush back, but what a way to end a walk. Look at that. Unfortunately, we all know what a rainbow means as well. And it ain't a pot of gold.